All right, I'm sitting back with Reese again for the second time. <laughs> um, we have to redo the interview you did yesterday. So, do you want to just tell me a little bit about yourself, like where you're from, how old you are, stuff like that? Uh, yeah, I'm 31, I'm from Kensington. Mm-hmm. Uh, didn't start getting high until I was 28, which amazes people. <laughs> that is, that is a, a amazing to hear. And like growing up here, like, yeah. yeah. You know. And you were saying in the other interview, you have a, a history of addiction in your family, right? Yeah, like I watched my mom get high my whole life. Yeah, and, and she's she just relapsed recently? Yeah, last month, and, and she's in rehab again, thank all God. All right, and you said she's doing good, she's yeah. down at Kirk Pride, doing yeah. everything that she's supposed to? Oh, yeah. All right. Um, so, you didn't start any drugs, or were you just like recreational? Well, yeah, were... like I always smoked weed, and... Like, did Zannies once in a while, but right. I didn't start doing dope until I was 28. Now, was that the r- real age? Yeah, yeah, 28. Okay. And, and how long were you doing the real age and before it switched over to fentanyl? Was that pretty soon? A um, couple months, because I was getting real dope uh, for free. Mm-hmm. So once I started telling my, uh, basically my family, well, not my family, my exes, family that I was getting high she would give me free bundles every day okay so and it was real dope mm-hmm. now did you notice the tr- the switch from dope to fentanyl when it was happening yeah now yeah. which one do you like better um I rather get high on dope but I can't get high on dope and you don't <laughs> even feel it anymore right no. It just because of how much stronger fat and all yeah, is. Right. So if you think you did a couple bag shot of dope right now, would you still be sick? Or would at least... Um, it might take the edge off a little bit. Wow. But I wouldn't feel it like I... I wouldn't feel... And that, that's just crazy because Philly is known for having the absolute strongest heroin yeah. in America. Yeah. And so that fat doll is that much stronger than it. Yeah. I actually had to do brown dope um, last month because I got stuck in uh, D.C., and that's all I could find out there. Oh, and okay. it really didn't do shit. Wow. Yeah. Wow, yeah, I'm, I'm actually heading down to Baltimore, and I might do D.C. while I'm down that area. Okay. Um, you were stuck down there for a while or something? No, only a couple of days. These pe- with people that do checks took me and my mom down there and um, turned into a whole different people once we got there. Okay. And so once they left us in the hotel, we were out of there. <laughs> yeah. So... We were, they actually left us in Camp Springs in a hotel, and they were supposed to come back the next day, but we left before that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Felt the fuckery going on and got out of there. Yeah, I didn't like how he was treating us. Yeah, well, that's good. I was acting like he was a pimp or something, yeah. and we're doing checks together. Like, oh, like the business checks type thing? Like cash yeah. and checks. Cash and checks, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And... And acting like he was in control of us, like we were his fucking bitches or something. <laughs> so I was not feeling that. Now, are, I forgot what you said. You, you have a place to stay. Yeah. But um, it's kind of like a... Sometimes I get kicked out whenever he feels like kicking me out. Okay. Like yeah, it happens right. randomly, like I don't know it's going to happen. Right. Yeah, that's what you're saying. He could be the nicest person in the world to you all the time and then yeah. he'll just... Switch up, switch up, and kick you out, and then you're on your. Yeah, that, that sucks because then you're, you're kind of like dependent on him, you know, if you want to keep staying there, and but yeah. you gotta put up with that stuff. Yeah. Um, do you shoot IV? Um, I actually stopped a year and a half ago, but this past week since I've been out here, I've done it a couple times because it's it lasts longer and it's stronger than smoking it. Okay. Now, um, because I'm gonna get to your sores, and you said you would show them again. Yeah. All right, because it is. And how long have you been dealing with them for? Uh, over a year and a half. Cause, like I said, I stopped shooting up a year and a half ago because of the sores. I was and, scared and, I was gonna lose my legs. And you moved to just smoking, smoking it. it yeah. Okay. But it kept the sores. Yeah, there. they're still, they're healing. It's in the process of healing. Like, since I started yeah. shooting up again. You see your hands again. Look, you see that? Mm-hmm. I got that this week since I oh, started yeah, that, shooting up again. That looks like pus in there, too. Yeah, I just popped it. Like, wow. I've shot up probably like four times since mm-hmm. I've been out here, and that happened. Wow. Like, I got all these scars. Now, those are all from Trank? Yeah, from missing. Okay. Like, I can't open my fingers. Yeah. 
this is healed. That's what it looks like healed. Like it's red. That's it's not going to go away. Like. And what is it? The tendons are are damaged. You think? And that's um, why they're like that. No, it's because it was so swollen like that for so long that it healed like that. Oh wow. Yeah. Man, and uh, so th there's no change in the reverse in that. You don't think? Uh, I gotta get surgery. Surgery done yeah, on it. But okay. I'm not gonna do that until I'm sober right now realistically you know? when was the last time you had or have you even tried treatment um i was in d detox once okay. for 10 days and that's when i stored it brown dope and they said they never seen no one detox that bad oh i remember you saying that yeah, it was a real bad that's why detox. they let me stay 10 they made me stay 10 days yeah because it's usually like a five or six yeah they never detox. seen no one detox that bad and i was only snorting brown dope then so i'm scared to detox yeah have you? So you? But you? Have you? You felt the withdrawal? Of yeah, I went. Yeah, of detox, and I got locked up once uh -huh. since I've been getting high, but I've never been to rehab. So was that detox? Was that when it was like the fentanyl and trank? Yeah, it was just starting to be that. Okay. Like, I was still, I was still doing brown dope. So do you think you felt the withdrawal from the tranquilizer back then? Uh, I felt it, yeah, because I just started doing like, even though I was getting, I was getting free brown dope, but I was still going and buying the trank because right. I like. You like yeah, the feeling I started of it. liking it because it was higher. That's like the only drug I don't know the feeling yeah, of. Yeah, uh, it's not. Well, no, I didn't like the trank. I like the fentanyl. Okay. The trank, you don't really feel it. It just puts you the fuck out. Yeah, I, it just that's knocks what it, you out. I don't like being knocked out. I want to know that I'm high. Yeah, that was like when I get doing regular heroin. It's like you would like, stay awake on purpose yeah, just like, to feel good. I want to sweep and clean and dance and shit when yeah. I'm on regular dope. Like, yeah. you don't do that. Or I, I always say now it's illegal to. I mean, not illegal. It's impossible to like be a functioning addict in today's yeah. society. Like, yeah. cause you guys just fall asleep. You gotta asleep. do it. Yeah, and then you gotta do it so much, like. Mm -hmm. And then you just pass out. Like you can't do nothing. Do like every what couple hours you're having to to redo four or five hours or something. Um, when I was shooting up, I shot up like four bags every couple hours. Wow. But I cut my habit down a lot since I started smoking it. And and when you pass out from it, it like you are already starting to feel sick when you wake back like, up. Your body don't make you wake up. It don't wake you up until you're feeling sick. That's what wakes you up. Okay. Feeling fucked up. So when you get up, you're you're. It's like you're on go mode. You gotta get. Yeah. If you can be on go mode. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. If you because you might yeah. be feeling that bad, yeah. huh? All right. Now, do you feel like showing the sores? Yeah, I Is that okay? Yeah. I just I think it's so important to show how much what you're going through here. Yeah, it hurts really bad without the. Oh man. <sighs> yeah, it's stuck. Oh, no, 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 no. Leave it, it leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it there. I don't want it to... Uh, oh, man, okay. Fuck. And the other one is just as... If it's hurting that bad, do not... You don't... I don't... You don't have to do it, sweetie. See. Yeah, it's stuck a little and bit. And so I went to get you sweatpants today, and I got... I, I couldn't find ones without the elastic, and I didn't get them, but you're saying... Wow, yeah, I'd rather okay. have the elastic, so, like, I don't... I'm scared to death of flies touching me. Yeah. Okay, so, wow. Yeah, yeah, all right. Thank you. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to embarrass you for doing that. I really okay. appreciate you showing me that. I understand you want people to see. Yeah, it's... Um, I don't want other people to get this shit, so... Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you a question. Are you seeing... It, it, to me, it seems like it's more crowded than it's ever been down here. Yeah. And new people. Yeah, there's new people. I see different faces every day down here, like... <laughs> I don't get it why people even want to come here like yeah <clears throat> if I wasn't from here and I seen a YouTube video this shit I wouldn't come here yeah like I mean, people ask me if I here? like I'm worried about relapse and I'm like, like well this shit like who wants to live like this it doesn't make any sense like, to me mm. like <sighs> so are, are, are you, you staying with Robert now just hanging out here till you figure out what you're gonna do um down this yeah, area yeah I guess yeah I was staying well, I really didn't really go to sleep, so it's like, I don't know. <laughs> so that's kind of what you do on the streets, is you just go until you, you kind of pass out or whatever, yeah, you stay along, keep Yeah, you running. try to get money and stuff. Like. Yeah. All right, well, I appreciate you um, doing this again. I, I think it's real important to show people what's going on down here, especially, you know, what you're dealing yeah, with. Yeah, it's because, really painful. So, like, you, even if you wanted to get clean today... You still have to 
I deal couldn't with that. go to rehab because of that. I would have to go to a hospital. Yeah. They wouldn't well, accept me in rehab. They wouldn't so let me come there. There are two rehabs that are starting to yeah, accept Eagleville. people. Yeah, Eagleville. And, and Valley Forge. But I mean, like, the detox ones, like, here, like... Yeah, you Kensington can't go, Hospital yeah, or like something. Yeah, like, Ethan Gerard, you can't go there with open source. Yeah, they just don't have the medical facilities. Yeah, they don't... They can't... They're not equipped to deal with it. Yeah. So, I mean, I get that. Um, all right, well... Hopefully, um, I will get you your sweatpants. To, you. I will bring them tomorrow night after work. Okay. Um, men small or women small? Yeah, men small. Men small. Fine. Okay. Yeah. What color? Does it matter? Black. The color. Dark gray. Dark gray. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather have dark gray because you can't really see dirt on it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, sweetheart. Thanks again for redoing this. I really appreciate you helping me out. You're welcome. Thank All right. you. Yep.